What's up, everybody? Welcome to Level Up with Adobe. My name is Pedro Flores. And I'm Ricky Shucks, and we're about to level up your product videos. You ready? Yeah. Do you want to level up your video production? Do you want to learn how to color correct green screen footage and other tips from the pros? Well, you're in luck, because Rick and I are going to show you the best way to level up your video production. My name is Pedro D. Flores. I'm a director producer, and for the last 20 years, I've been working with our guest, Ricky Shucks. Rick is a popular video producer who co-owns the clothing brand, Goody. So if you had the opportunity to level up your video production, what would you do? I would kind of just want to go crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? Like we do uh, promo videos and things like that now, but it's all pretty basic, straightforward. You know what I'm saying? I want to do something wild. I want transitions and effects. I want to do something on a green screen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, something like that. What do you think makes a good product video? Detail. It's really important. Like if you have a bunch of different prints on your shirt or little small tags that you want people to notice, show them as much as possible. Give them every reason to want to buy the product. If you're shooting on models, you got to make sure it's the right fit, the right model, because if it doesn't look good on them, people are going to assume it won't look good on you. No, I agree 100%. Hopefully we kill it in this video that we're about to film. Hopefully. After filming a super awesome product video, it was time to show Rick the cut. Is that that? Oh, man. <laughs> so here we are, guys. I'm about to show Rick the cut of the product video. Make sure you guys stay tuned afterwards because I'm going to go over some techniques that I used in Premiere Pro. And uh, you ready, man? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's tight. <laughs> for real? Yeah, no, you like, like, like for real. I was, I was expecting like some one color background <laughs> changes That's what I was or something gonna like do. that. Yeah. That was my original intention. But then after we shot the Gabby video, I was like, yo, we gotta beat that Gabby video. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like we gotta, we gotta beat that Gabby video because hers was kind of like colors and stuff like that. I was like, yeah. oh, yo, we gotta do something next level with this. So the first thing I want to show you is how I made the opening shot using Premiere's dynamic link and After Effects. Okay, so first I gathered all my footage in a Premiere timeline. Here's my background stock footage, and this is the footage of the actors I want to place in that background. Okay, so first highlight everything and then right click. Now click on replace with After Effects composition. Now we have that same clips and timeline in After Effects. The first thing you want to do is track the camera on the background footage. This is super easy, just add the 3D camera tracker effect. Okay. Now let's pick a point where you want your first clip to stick to. Right click and create a null. This will create a 3D camera and a null object with position data. Now we can add our actor into the scene. First I keyed out the green screen. I tweak a couple settings on key light. And then I grab the null that we made earlier, copy the position data, and paste it onto the actor's clip. Now I just adjust it slightly. Okay, then I repeated the process with the other clips, readjusted the position of them, and this was the final result. This whole intro right here, this whole opening sequence is actually stock footage mm -hmm. from Adobe Stock which saved me a whole bunch of time because if I would have rendered this out in a 3D program, it probably would have taken like a week. Yeah. So uh, shout out to Adobe Stock for uh, the stock footage. Yeah. Uh, pretty much all the stock footage that you saw in this video came from Adobe Stock. So uh, shout out to you guys. But let me show you some of the stuff that I did, man. Some of the techniques that I used because we did have a bunch of footage, right? And mm -hmm. we did have a bunch of different stock footage and I did have to find ways to kind of match it. Yeah. And I'll show you real quick what I did. It's super simple, dude. So check it out, I'm in Premiere Pro and this is the entire timeline for the video. And I kind of wanted to show you how I blended in some of the green screen footage with some of the Adobe stock footage. So for example, we have this clip right here, which hasn't been matched yet, hasn't been color matched yet. So the first thing you want to do is remove the green from the footage. So you want to go into your effects, type in ultra key, double click to add it to the clip, go into your effect controls, Click on your color picker 
and just click anywhere on the green okay now you gotta do is just mess with the settings go to your mat cleanup put the choke up a little bit put the contrast up put the midpoint slightly up and then you can soften it a little bit boom there you go okay so now the next thing you want to do is color correct the green screen footage to blend in with the stock footage and that's super easy click on the clip go to your Lumetri color go to color wheels and match go to comparison view now this window is gonna match this window here okay now all you gotta do is apply match okay and there you go it's been color corrected and blended into the stock footage perfectly So the next thing that I want to show you is how I copied and pasted a bunch of attributes from one clip to another. Because I worked with a bunch of clips, the last thing that you want to do is just keep doing the same effect over and over again. So this is my green screen timeline before I added any stock footage and I wanted to key it out to see how well everything was keying. So I started off with the first clip here. I added ultra key to key it out and then I did a little bit of color correction. Now I wanted to add both of these effects to all the clips and that's pretty easy. All you gotta do is go to your effect controls of the clip, hold control to grab both of them. Now right click and copy. Now all you gotta do is grab all the footage that you wanna add those attributes to, okay? And control V to paste. And that's it. Now every single clip has those same effects and you can even add the backgrounds. Okay, so if you wanna remove the attributes that we just added, instead of going from clip to clip and deleting the effects, now all you gotta do is grab all the clips that you wanna remove the attributes, then right click, go up here and click on remove attributes. Okay. Now we just want to remove the effects that we added, which is the ultra key and the Lumetri color. So let's uncheck these other ones up here. So now it's only going to remove this here. Okay. And there you go. All the effects that we added have been removed. Now using this method, I just saved myself a bunch of time and you can save yourself a bunch of time too, especially with longer videos or videos that have a bunch of clips like this one. All right. With that said, guys, this has been another episode of Level Up with Adobe Premiere Pro. My name is Pedro Flores. I'm Ricky Shucks. And uh, make sure you guys tune in for the next episode. And thanks, man. Hey, thank you. Bring it dope. Bring it dope. On the next episode of Level Up with Adobe Premiere Pro, Mike Diva and I will show you how to level up your music videos. Don't miss it.